Hi everybody, thank you for being here again. Um, today's reflection is uh, on a, a section that is just a few verses long. Uh, up until now, uh, most recently, we've been looking at single verses, but there's a block here at the end of Proverbs chapter 27 that we need to look at in one chunk. So tighten your seatbelts and uh, let me read from uh, verse 23 of uh, Proverbs 27. Be sure you know the condition of your flocks. Give careful attention to your herds, for riches do not endure forever, and a crown is not secure for all generations. When the hay is removed and new growth appears and the grass from the hills is gathered in, the lambs will provide you with clothing and the goats with the price of a field. You will have plenty of goat's milk to feed your family and to nourish your female servants. I don't think uh, this passage is intended to um, give us all a dream of becoming farmers, joining uh, Jeremy Clarkson and setting up a, a farm in the middle of the Cotswolds and realising what hard work it is. What uh, is being suggested here is a kind of interplay between uh, our own hard work, uh, the labour that is required to, to look after the things that we've been given, to look after the herds perhaps and the crops maybe or at least the the material possessions that we've been blessed with to take very good care of them and to make sure that we are good stewards of them so that interplay of, of our um, human kind of uh, uh, duty uh, to, to do with that but alongside God's provision it is not the farmer who puts milk into um, the uh, the goat uh, to be able to produce for us. It's not the farmer who kind of um, plants the, the skin or the, um, the fleece onto to sheep that provide our clothing. It's God's blessing. God has given us this ability. He's given us this great blessing to be able to enjoy from what he has provided for us. Now, we have a role to take care of that, but we are to recognise as well that in taking care of what he's given us, he blesses us even further. So in a very simplistic fashion, I'm no farmer, but bear with, um, if we don't feed uh, livestock well, if we don't look after it well, if we allow disease to take over, then they're not going to produce milk or fleece uh, or, to, or meat that will help us. But if we do take care of that which we've been given responsibility for by God, then we will be provided and rewarded with that which he planned for. I probably ought to apologise if there are any vegans watching, but I'm sorry, I think there is a biblical precedent for um, us to have control over the farm animals and to be able to, um, to benefit from them. Let's discuss that another time. The important thing right for right now is that we take care of what we've got to take care of. We, we look after the, the crops or the investments or the, the properties that we have been blessed with and we ensure that they work well, that they stay fit, if I can use that terminology, to provide us with all that God wants to bless us with through them in the future. So let's give thanks for the possessions we have. We are rich beyond measure compared to 99.9% .9 of the world um, and uh, we should uh, recognise that we should ensure that we look after the riches that we've been given in order that we can um, see and recognize and rejoice in God's blessing through them. Let's pray. Father, thank you for all that you've blessed us with. Help us to be wise stewards and help us to give glory to you for all that you have given us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. Uh, take care. I'll see you soon.